Okay, so what do we have here today? I'll explain. Uh, I have a friend on uh, YouTube. His name is Rusty, and he owns the um, Lid Motor channel. And if you've been there, you know that uh, he and his friends, uh, Laser Saber and Johnny Davro, and a few others are probably the best that you can find on the internet for learning how to make oscillator circuits and jewel thieves. And uh, this is sort of a video response to one of his. Uh, Rusty has a, a little oscillator circuit on there that he calls the Penny Oscillator. Rusty experiments with two different kind of coils with this oscillator circuit. Uh, both of them are using a steel wire instead of uh, copper. Uh, this happens to be like a phone line that he found in a dollar store that uh, has four strands of um, a real flexible steel wire and it's wound in like a Tesla coil kind of a, a pancake uh, coil. And the other is uh, with two rolls of um, wire wrap cables. Anyhow, he calls these the penny oscillators so this is sort of a video response to Rusty, and um, it's in appreciation of uh, a nice low current, low voltage um, circuit. Okay then, so here's uh, my updated version. Well, it's not updated, it's just a different version of uh, Rusty's penny oscillator. This is a two penny oscillator. Nah, it's, it look, kind of looks like uh, two pieces of rye bread and a toaster, doesn't it? Anyhow, there's, um, there's two slots milled in this block of uh, magnesium and the uh, pennies are in there with the uh, currently popular blend of, uh, of alum and um, substitute salt, borax and Epsom salts all in equal parts and I just poured that into the slots and heated the block up until things melted uh, a little bit and stuck the pennies in there let it cool and here's a little on off switch so I pop that on and uh, you can see we're going here it's not going to blind you but don't forget this is running at uh, somewhere around 25 microamps and of course you know you don't get too many volts and and uh, milliamps out of these little circuits I have a little a uh, trim pot here which can turn the frequency up on on the circuit to the point where it's it's on steady it could use another resistor in there to slow it down to a slow pulse but anyhow there there you go here's another little little feature that's kind of nice about this oscillator I used uh, I don't have anything to point with I used a little part here that you find in uh, hobby shops. These are our little uh, control pieces for uh, for uh, push rods in your radio control equipment. So I just push that in there with a press fit and I got a nice little ground lug. Over here I just have a um, piece of copper that I cut to hold the um, trimmer in place. And let's look at the voltage here on this. Okay, so here's the clips hooked up. You can see that the um, little uh, penny cell here is, is running at 1.262 volts, which is, I think, pretty good for running the oscillator and uh, the light emitting diode. Usually these circuits are dropping below a volt with these tiny batteries, but uh, we're doing pretty good here. Even up full, it'll this, uh, we'll still run at... Um, somewhere around 1.1 volts you very rarely goes below the 1 volt range which I think is pretty neat so anyhow Rusty I thought you might like to see my my two penny oscillator and uh, see how that looks incidentally uh, on uh, Rusty's site he uses about twice as much wire as I have here and uh, I don't know my, my circuits just don't work as good as his but what I found out was I started unwrapping the wire and it still was running pretty good so I just cut the the wire size down or the diameter of the wire it went up uh, the circuit went up and drew about another uh, 
10 uh, microamps, it went from I think 25 microamps to 30 or 35, but I think it was worth it to get the size down. So I think it's pretty cool. Not real bright, but it's a pretty neat little circuit. Certainly works uh, for a lot less current than some of the others. I wonder if I can pull this out and get a little better view of the. Thank you, Rusty. If you guys want to uh, find out how to make this circuit, just go uh, visit Lid Motor. Type it into your browser and YouTube, and, and I'm sure you'll find some experiments there that you like to do. A few other experiments with these cells. I made a clunker over here. This is a uh, copper end plug uh, for, I don't know, three quarter inch copper pipe or something. Okay, and I just hooked it up to one of these clock circuits that I have in an old toolbox. This is the center drawer of a toolbox that I mutilated and cut a hole in and put this little clock in. It uh, would run for <laughs> years, probably two years or so from a little uh, AAA, so I imagine it run a long time on this crystal cell. Uh, I don't think anybody's had these cells in service long enough to compare them to like an alkaline battery or a rechargeable or something, but uh, you know, the longevity uh, remains to be seen. I'll probably just let Rusty and the other guys see this and then probably pull it off, so I hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later, guys. Take care. Okay, hold the presses, guys. <clears throat> Here's something uh, I think you want to see, Rusty. I just couldn't leave this video go with just uh, showing a cute battery, so I figured something else out here. Here's some parts that um, you're familiar with. Um, I know that Rusty's had some of these little toys that are a dollar in the Dollar Tree store, and uh, we've taken some parts out of them. Well, anyhow, here's the two coils that are in these little flowers and uh, they make a good penny oscillator. I'm running this with the uh, two penny battery and here's what I'm using for the uh, for the coils. This is a little wafer shaped coil and uh, I've added the little plug on the back of them and they work good in the uh, oscillator as a matter of fact uh, they may work better than the other one here I've got a trim pot and you can see that the uh, diode's lighting pretty good and you can turn it up it goes up pretty good and uh, it, it runs about 25 microamps to start and goes all the way up to about a half a milliamp and I've got a little meter plugged in here so you see the um, penny cells run at 1.1 volt which is pretty good and the diodes going Oh, this is something you might be interested in. I, I took uh, a cheap meter or an inexpensive meter like this, opened it up and put a, uh, a servo, an, a radio control servo extension in place of where the uh, test leads are. And I have the uh, little plug here so I can plug different things and I've got a set of clips that I plug in or I can plug into something on the circuit board like I made here, whatever. Anyhow, back to the circuit. These um, these two little coils are here in these toys. Now these toys are one dollar. And uh, let's see if we can see. Yeah, there's the coil down here on the bottom. And it pulses this little magnet. So for a dollar you get a neodymium magnet, this little coil nice solar cell and a pulse circuit <laughs> for a dollar the wire is two and a half thousandths diameter that's American inch and I can't even find a wire gauge that corresponds with that 
So the uh, coil here that we're looking at has a, a resistance of uh, 507 ohms. So I imagine there's quite a few feet in that. So anyhow, that's what's what's going on with this. I'm dashing this camera all over the place. These coils will, will work in either direction. Unless you put them alongside each other. You put them alongside each other, they have to be in the right direction. So anyhow, Rusty, it's, uh, I wanted to show you this. If I can believe what I'm seeing up here with my uh, counter, we're uh, running at about uh, 30,000 or 30 k, uh, k hertz. So 30,000 uh, hertz and 35 maybe when you when you change here okay once again take it easy we'll catch you later ta